everybody. I look crazy. I am off to the south of France today with Lancome. I'm very excited. I've been up since 4.30, but I made it to Heathrow at the time of five. And if I weren't so tired, I would be bouncing off the walls excited for this. Um, but give me another coffee and maybe we'll get there. But until then, let's get through the airport. Let's first stop, find Amelia and Pia and squish them. What on earth? That is crazy. Um, so I am a an absolute Heathrow virgin, if I'm honest, guys. Uh, Gatwick is my jam for obvious reasons. Uh, apparently everyone's at Neuro and I'm just, I've just, I'm blind AF. I have no contacts in, I have no glasses on, but I've got a feeling that Nero is this way. I've just, I've just got a hunch. So let's, uh, let's see if I'm right. Oh my God, lol, I've been pointing my camera at Nero the entire time. Wow, so blind. So very, very blind. That's actually quite scary. She is. Where have you been, bitch? Where have you bloody been? I left my carry on, guys. I left my carry on with all my stuff, all my bags, shoes, my garden outfit at home. <laughs> I raised you. I got put on standby. What? Are you also going? I got put on standby. Why? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Do you mind? Stop please me, eh? <laughs> Is everybody ready for a few days of really bad French? Because I know Amelia is. I thought you were going to say, I know Amelia's bad at French, and I was like, I am. No! Because yeah. I know I'm bad at French, and Amelia loves it. Bonjour! Oui, oui! Garçon! Tray, tray. Exhausted. How many are we? Oh my god, this is so fun. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness, I have arrived. We are staying in a spa resort just outside of Grasse, I think that's how you say it, in the south of France. And this is just stunning. This is so unreal. Uh, sadly, not going to be needing this summery little hat today because the weather is moody, but it's still like it's so stunning here that even when the weather's like this, it's still such a vibe. Look at this room. Oh my God, it's so fun. It's like a maze. Little wardrobe area. Hello. The bathroom, complete with all the Lancome Absolute products. I cannot wait to try these. And then a giant, this bathtub is enormous with a gorgeous little very green view. Okay, so are you gonna stay there is the question. I am doing an express turnaround for this afternoon's activity. Our flight into Nice was delayed, so we need to move fast, uh, which is not something I'm very good at, if I'm very honest with you guys, but we'll give this a go. But this is why I got fully ready at 4.30 this morning. This is why I haven't really talked to you guys yet, because I just knew that I, I'm not a quick turnaround kind of girl. I knew I wasn't gonna have like hair and makeup time when I got here, because your girl is high maintenance. She needs a lot of hair and makeup time. So I did everything at stupid o'clock this morning. And should I have bothered? Because it's raining and my hair is probably going to completely drop. But no, I am happy I bothered like this. I love this hair, it's just, so bouncy. So I fully curled my whole head this morning and just left it. So I looked a bit like a poodle the entire flight and the whole way through the airport, but it's worth it because when you brush it out, it's just got a lovely wave, which hopefully I won't 
have to redo, she says. I mean, I did not know it was gonna be raining, but let's hope for the best. Okay, cool. My outfit of the day is giving rich mom vibes. I have got on a Zara linen waistcoat with some linen trousers, YSL tribute sandals, which lots of you will have seen year in, year out. If you've watched the vlogs for long enough, you'll know they're my favorite. A new addition to my bag collection, which is the Louis Vuitton Speedy bag in the 30 size. And then I've also got my Celine round sunnies because these are like, to me, these are just south of France in a pair of sunglasses. Um, and then my earrings are from Mango. <laughs> I'm about to have a skin consultation, which is basically going to tell me things I need to work on on my skin, and apparently it also tells you what you'll look like in 15 years' time. So Amelia is coming with me to hold my hand because I don't know if I'm ready for this information, you guys. All right. Are you ready? Please. I'm ready for you. I'm scared. Best of luck. I'm scared. <laughs> right. Dun dun dun. But worse. Nothing's worse when they put the air on. You're like, okay. Not Susie checking herself out in there. <laughs> oh, I thought you, I thought there was a mirror there, and I was like, wait, Susie is checking herself out because that's something I would do. Okay, best of luck. Thank you. You can remove your face. So that's good. You, you would like to see yeah. where your skin yeah. is. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. oh. No, it's nice. The red zone. Mm -hmm. It's very dehydrated. Yeah, exactly. Oh well, look, it, everything's green too. Yes. Wow, it's wonderful. Skincare routine be working. This. Yeah, this I, this is yeah, what I didn't want to see, but I really do. No, no, it's, it's very dark, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not for it. I'm afraid, but no, you don't have. No, I show you maybe. You have a circle, a small circle, yellow circles. Wow. Is yeah, that only it? two. It's just the yellow. Yeah. Are you it's just the yellow. This is the zone, the blue. I can't see line. any yellow. No, it's, it was on the. Oh side. my god, it's tiny. That's my. Yeah. That's yeah. so. That's my UV. Yes, the oh, damage. Are you joking? Yeah. No. That's a mole, <laughs> I think. So that's just. I'm not. Even yeah, that's not. Sure. I'm not sure. Priscilla is about to show me what I look like when I get old. In mm. fifty. Um, you still look fab. Today? You look stunning. Mm. Are you joking? Mm -hmm. You've got barely any lines. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? This can't be right. <laughs> look, say it again. Look at I... you, look 45, unreal! <laughs> tonight's cocktail dinner got on this little orange self-portrait dress which i've had for quite a while both of the dresses uh, that i'm wearing over this trip i feel like you will probably have seen before or recognize if you've been watching the vlogs even just since lockdown i feel like you're gonna recognize them and um, this one is from self-portrait i absolutely love this one it's one of the azalea dresses which you guys will know i love in the midi length but i have this orange in the mini length and i absolutely love her so much they also have pockets now which i am obsessed with i feel like the colors are coming off really weird in this light everything 
it's just so orange right now the dress code for the evening was joyful happy colors and i just think the orange is such a joyful happy color i've then got this cult guy clutch which is coming off a completely different color on camera to how it looks in real life it's like a peachy orange and i am obsessed with it it's so cool it's like an acrylic but it's got all of this kind of like detailing marbled kind of effect woven through it i've got my etsy earrings in as always and then my shoes are from steve madden these are basically a dupe of my beloved ysl pair that absolutely cut up my ankles so badly um i just can't wear them and i saw this pair and they basically looked identical um these are actually a fraction higher but they're comfier so <laughs> i am not going to turn my nose up at that i love it so this is my outfit of the evening hopefully it stopped raining and i'm not going to get too wet because i didn't bring a jacket to go with this normally if i wear it to weddings i just steal ryan's um blazer might be a bit chilly tonight but you know hypothermia never hurt anybody <laughs> okay let's go oh my gosh outside of my villa there is a honeysuckle somewhere and it smells insane <sighs> i can hear the girls right let's go this is a death trap. Wish me luck. I was in pink. <laughs> oh my god, you turned at the same time. That was kind of freaky. <laughs> Amelia Liana being a sleigh. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Daniel and I have been left. Uh, in the dark whilst Amelia gets let into her room. I can, I can drive. Oh my yeah. god. This girl doesn't have a it's license. Fine. This girl has just How hard can you be? It's, like, it's, a mini, it's a mini car. It's like tiny. It's like this. <laughs> it's this a gold buggy. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. Okay. What, what do I put? <laughs> do you think it's gonna go? I really... <laughs> Never mind. This is the start to a terrifying horror film. <laughs> like, do you oh, not think... No. Good evening. I have been up since 4am and let me tell you, when I say I am excited to get my makeup off, I truly, truly mean it. It is half past 10. I have just finished at the Lancome Hall. I have just finished at the Lancome Cocktail Welcome Party and I am going to go straight to bed. I know. Wild. I'm so sorry. I haven't really trusted much today. I haven't really explained why we are here, but I will fully catch up with you in the morning because I just know I'm not going to be making any sense right now. I honestly don't know how people do it where they travel constantly and vlog constantly because I'm just not made of that stuff, you know? So I am going to get this makeup off get into bed and I will see you in the morning. Hopefully I'll be a slightly shinier, newer version of myself. Miracles can happen. Night. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That is more like it. Wow, I'm so puffy. Today we're gonna have a whole education day on the Lancome Absolute products have them here uh on this lovely little tray which i have made a complete mess of uh it wouldn't be my bathroom if there wasn't just makeup everywhere so i'm excited to learn more about their products but for now i am gonna start by using them with these face masks this is the lancome absolute regenerating brightening cream mask and after flying yesterday i think i can really do with this I had a skin screening yesterday, as you will have seen, and I actually was so worried about having that. I, whoa, really creamy. Okay, pro for my hair. Wow. <laughs> I look like Leonardo DiCaprio in that film. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> this is so funny. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna talk to you like this. I didn't really think this through. Um, I <laughs> I was really scared to have the screening. I thought it was going to show like horrendous age spots and sun damage and stuff, but it actually didn't. Honestly, I'm still surprised by that. But 
it did show that I was quite dehydrated. It just reinforced like all the areas that I felt like would get dry throughout the day were very dry. And especially after that flight, they were probably worse than usual. So with that in mind, I thought this would be a great product to use this morning. I also want to use the Absolute, the serum. This is stunning. I tried the eye cream last night. It's so, so delicious. Like that's actually one of the best eye creams I've ever tried. Today I'm gonna go serum and light cream. It'd be fun to, if they had the skin screening again, if I could go in and like redo and see after having done like skincare and not been up since 4 a.m. how my skin was actually looking underneath. Also just to smell a little hair clip, how cute. These are from Amazon. You can get them in a pack of like four or six, and I love them. This is just the dreamiest. There's nothing I love more than a good view. This makes my soul so happy. Okay, so I'm just self-shooting some photos. That's solo trip girl life. And then we are gonna head to breakfast and we're gonna learn a lot about Lancome skincare and I can't wait. <laughs> So this is what I'm wearing literally just this morning just because I die for this outfit. My sunglasses are from Celine, my earrings are from Etsy, my clutch is Gaia, I believe. My waistcoat and trousers are from Zara. These trousers are old but the waistcoat is new. I've got my YSL tribute sandals. And then my Edge of Ember Victoria Gaia collection necklace. Wow that was so nice. And then my rings are from Ashton and Miu on this hand. I'm obsessed with this new little green number. It's just so gorgeous. And then on this hand, I also have Astrid and Miu rings. And then my bracelet is also Astrid and Miu. So we're just fully Astrid and miu it up on the hands. That is my outfit of the day. Let's go. Also, I didn't really get to show you yesterday, but this is the outside of my villa. I have made an absolute state of it by moving everything around this morning, but it is so unreal. This place is so beautiful. I'll find out what it's called and pop it in the info box if any of you are interested. But yeah, there's so many of these villas. It's on like a golf and spa resort. Did I imagine the golf bit? I just lump them together in my brain. It's definitely a spa resort and it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, that sun. And it is blinding and unreal and I am loving life. Just throwing the last bits into my bag for the day. Also, how gorgeous is my wardrobe for this trip? All of these colours and non-colours are just making me so happy this is my dress for tonight probably the least gallery but they asked for like champagnes and blush colors and i hadn't worn this in a very long time so i thought it was perfect um i think i'm going to be wearing this a little bit later as well it's gorgeous mango set i love it and then maybe this tomorrow it needs steaming but obsessed second outfit of the day this is my little set from Mango. I love this. It's so cute. I've got the same YSL shoes on. I bought like a real tiny wardrobe of like shoes. I bought three pairs of shoes, trainers, sandals, heels, and then kind of did the same for bags as well. They literally just have like a couple of bags with me uh, that everything goes with. This one is the Colt Gaia one. It fits so much in. It's actually such a good like day clutch i really like it um but yeah other than that like nothing has really changed apart from the change in waistcoat and trousers but i am obsessed with these i just think they're so cool i feel a bit like i'm wearing pajamas but in a really great way okay we are off to find miss amelia and we're gonna hang 
for a little bit before we go to our next appointment. It is so gorgeous here. I would absolutely die to come back here and stay on like an actual vacay. It is wonderful. Stolen the mini Kelly. We'll see if she notices. <laughs> you were literally looking for it, weren't you? I lost duck She was looking at Pia, thinking Pia doesn't have my bag. Pia doesn't have my bag. <laughs> oh, we're ready for our workshop. Where is mine? Oh, no. 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 Oh, there she is. Look at that view, that is sensational. This is my outfit of the evening. Uh, literally just running out the door so I'm gonna make this quick the dress is from house of CB I've had this for a really long time I've actually owned it in two different sizes this is the size down it's this gorgeous like blush champagne tone and then I've got the cult Gaia bag again and then the same Steve Madden heels on uh, and my earrings are from mango Excuse me if I sound a little bit groggy, but we have to check out really early this morning because we are going straight from today's activities to the airport. I think it's going to be a really fun day. We're going to a place called Domaine de la Rose. I'm not 100% sure on what... Morning. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, would it be possible if I could get a soy milk latte to my room, please? No, that's it. Thank you. We'll see. Cheers. Bye. Oh, yes. Caffeine. Stunning. And I'm not sure exactly, but I'm going to assume that it's the place where they kind of like harvest their rose pet. Like a lot of the absolute range smells like rose, but in the most stunning fresh non sickly kind of way like it's so it like i don't generally like rose scents but the scent of the lancome absolute range is i i actually love it it is so stunning i think this might be where that is kind of like grown and harvested and i'm taking just like a kind of wild stab at that because of the name but also because 
grass is the like it's like perfume land so there's so many different kind of like things that are grown here for fragrances and so i'm going to assume that that is what we are doing i could be wrong let's find out patiently now waiting for my coffee which is so needed today i i'm really struggling i'm feeling super tired at the moment going from a wedding straight to a press trip uh might might have been pushing it for me slightly uh i'm a delicate flower and uh yeah it's been a bit of a struggle i don't know how amelia does it she's a pro at this point oh and i didn't talk to you about last night last night's dinner was so stunning that i think would be my dream unrealistic never gonna happen location to get married in it was just it actually made it was so beautiful it made me fully emotional when i got there like the little arch that they have it was so beautiful like i've never seen anything so beautiful in my whole life it was unreal it was just perfect even down to like the pianist they had was so good like the song choices that he was playing but on piano were i was fully vibing like there was blue control breathe being played loved that there was diamonds what was that other song it's the song that i never know the words to but every time it comes on at a party i'm like on the table free from desire the that when that came on on piano i was like this is <laughs> the best night of my whole entire life and i have been to some stunning dinners but that one really like that one really choked me it's actually predominantly a wedding venue and i've obviously just come back from a wedding where i was very emotional so yeah i was just tearing up and getting so emotional i was just like oh this would be the most beautiful place to get married anyway my battery is dying and i need to fill in my brows which does require i would say an increased level of concentration compared to the rest of my makeup i'm making it look easy right now but really i'm sweating uh there's a lot of pressure doing this on camera so I am going to turn this off and I'll be back with you fully made up and I'll show you my outfit for today. So this is today's outfit of the day. I have this dress on which some of you may remember from House of CV. It's a little bit creased right now but it's fine because I'm going to be sat in a car for about an hour. Maybe more, I'm not sure but I feel like it's definitely definitely an hour uh so the dress is just gonna get, get creased anyway but i've got my etsy earrings on with it a victoria guy collection edge of ember necklace my ysl saint laurent reef gauche bag and then i've got my ysl sandals as well and then my hair is just in a pony i'm gonna wear my celine sunnies uh they were i think the only sunglasses i packed for this trip and they have been perfect with every single outfit so yeah, just keeping it very simple today. I've got a grey jumper, which you may have seen me wear earlier in the vlog. I'm just going to throw that over my shoulders uh, in case I need warmth. And yeah, if I have to put it on, I'm just going to look like a little sack of potatoes. That's fine because we love potatoes. Oh, uh, yes. Hello, caffeine. Good morning. How are you doing? <laughs> yes. Don't come for me with the amount of sugar that I put in things just it's necessary in this life i don't eat sweets i don't have like loads of sugar this is my one thing this is my vice let me live they actually do really good coffee here i'm, I'm impressed i'm truly impressed this is so nice is it laced with sugar yes do i mind absolutely not Good morning, Amelia. Good morning. You look stunning today. I need sunny. I've done what you did and do a slick back. Yeah, honestly. We went to bed too late and woke up too early for now. Yeah. I need, Your hair looks I great need two though. Hours. I'm loving the blonde. I'm loving the blonde. For a wash and it's blow life. Dry, how long does it take you? How long is a piece of string? No. Uh, period. So I leave it to air dry. So. It's a good, I'll wash it at five in the evening and I'll be done by 10. Yeah. Okay. 
Yes, yeah, so it's, like, it's, like it's like a mental process washing your hair. Yeah, you've got to get yourself up. You have to hide. Yeah. You have to mask. Yeah, 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 that's what I mean. You have to mask. I was not, this was not me last night, so apologies for my greasy I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make it work. No, you look unreal. She's in her unreal era. Okay. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with you. And the shoes today, the shoes are giving little denim slingbacks. We're obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with you. <laughs> so we have arrived at Domaine de la Rose. Look at this house. It is so pink. I'm pretty sure you could see it from space. It is gorgeous. I'm very excited to get a little tour around here. Unreal scenes. I'd love coming to the south of France, it's just gorgeous. Hello. Hey. Coffee. <laughs> we need caffeine at all times. You've only just switched to coffee, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I've only just in the past like six weeks started drinking coffee. How and it has changed it? my life. <laughs> you guys, anyone that doesn't drink coffee, you could not sleep and still oh, feel I'm alive. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Honestly. <laughs> no, don't worry. How you have made it this far in life is beyond me. I like it was game changing. Realizing that I could just have fake energy. Oh my god. What is that I'm doing? We even look to the future agriculture. So this rose it's very easy to take off the pollen because we can accede directly to the pollen and the stigma. On the stigma of the father. 26 petals. Oh. It's yeah. very rich. Oh, gosh. You guys, this is so cute. They've got us all a rose and they're going to plant them here. That is the sweetest thing. Wow. Where's that person? No, but also, it reminds me of that This is unreal. have arrived at Le Mocha for lunch. We're in Cannes, I'm so excited. I've literally, I've never been to Cannes before. I'm so looking forward to this. It's so beautiful, so stunning. Wow, I am the happiest girl right now. This is just like an unreal change of plans for the day. Lunch in Cannes, oh my God. Salad, <laughs> raspberry, mint, couscous salad. This is very good. The waiter is royally ripping the shit out of me for being vegan and just literally making me die. <laughs> With the cheese? <laughs> I've, I've never been rinsed so much for my dietary choices. Oh, brilliant. Also, guys, I didn't get to show you this thing that my friend Ellie bought me. How amazing is this? Now my bag never has to sit on the floor. I'll try and find one of these and link them, but it was a gift, so I don't know where the exact one is from. Um, but how fun is this? It's so good. So, so good. I rarely ever have crossbody bags. This is literally the dream. Which shade is this? This is the Amelia Lancome shade. It's embarrassing. Like, I'm still using it. Like. <laughs> I'm genuinely still, I, I just got a good application for it. Show us. 510 drama mat. 510 drama mat. We need, we need. Merci. 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 Stunning, thank you so much. Oh my god, you guys, this is the best truffle pasta I have ever had in my whole life. I'm real vibes over here. Look at uh, this. this is, okay, this is how you do this. Let's see. Holy no. Yes. Oh my god. Mas como te que te mato, nasce uma flor. I don't keep doing that thing. This is a dog. Good morning everybody, I am back 
from the south of France. Uh, let's not do a close up of my nails right now because they are a state. I was very anxious the other day and basically tore them apart. Oh yeah, and I picked a spot, which I rarely ever do, but this is why, because it always and so badly anyway i'm home and i wanted to just check in with you because i didn't really get a chance to uh talk to you after i got on my plane the other day on the flight back from the south of france we were quite delayed and honestly by the time i got off that flight i was just like on the home stretch like ready to be home and this weekend i just chilled like the weather was absolutely stunning and i just basically sat in the garden and read my book all weekend. I finished uh, My Darling Daughter, something like that. I will link it, it's so good. Um, I finished it in a day. This rose ink blush is so nice. It's called Heliotrope. I don't know if that's how you say it. It's really lovely, like natural pink, I feel like. I'm super blown out today on camera, but yeah, it's like the prettiest pink. Um, also, blush on the lips, try it, thank me later. I don't know, if you prefer like a white based nude, like uh, for some reason, if a nude is too dark, it just doesn't look right on me, I prefer a white based nude. Blushes, they seem to work as that, I don't know why, but I love it. But anyway, I thought I'd check in with you quickly. This morning I have a few bits that I want to show you, things that I didn't show you whilst I was in the south of France, but like new in pieces to my wardrobe that I didn't get to wear. I'm actually gonna try and run that through with you quickly. Run through, why can I not speak? <laughs> I'm gonna try and run through that with you quickly before uh, my 11 a.m. appointment this morning. I'm doing nails this morning, which is why I haven't bothered doing my own because I'm just probably gonna accidentally file my own nails anyway and it hurts my soul less if I do that when they already need doing. I have to say though, I've been quite surprised as to how resilient gel mannies are when you are actually doing someone else's nails and like filing and using acetone. Like they really do hold up so well. This is my own doing. Also, don't do this. Do not pick your gels off because it ruins your nail bed and you've got more of a chance of some kind of like moisture getting in there and then moisture is how you get infections in your nails so don't don't do this don't do it just because i've done it don't do it it's, it's not good it's not good for you anyway oh also just been going through my youtube comments and i just like it's only it's only a trickle but you know when there's a trickle eventually it's going to be a landslide and i just need to kind of like put this out there before this becomes a thing Sometimes you just need a lasagna, guys. You know, sometimes you just need lasagna. Honestly, I promise you when, like I wouldn't, by the way, be going through all of the like fertility testing processes at the moment, by the way, vlog coming on that, I think next month. Um, I wouldn't be going through those processes. I wouldn't even bother talking about it if uh, this were going to be a thing. Trust me, uh, not this year, maybe not even next year, not really sure. So let's just park our excitement for a little while like give me I, i'd say minimum a year and a half two years however we have been speaking to the fertility clinic and as per your request we are gonna go and like document our experience because so many of you said that that is something that you would love to see so do stay tuned for that but until then i'm not give me a give me a long time <laughs> like the reason that we're doing all of the testing is to see how long we can stretch it out for if that makes sense um but yeah until then let's go and uh talk through some things that i bought and didn't get to show you in the south of france one item that i actually didn't take with me just because i knew it wouldn't go with the outfits but that i wanted to show you anyway are these shoes and if you've watched the previous vlog you will probably know what these are gonna be but I had the Zara version of these for years and years and years now and they are just starting to wear and I can't find a high street replacement anywhere. I literally wear them every summer on repeat. You guys will know, you see me wear them literally all the time. So I picked up the Bottega version. It's just so nice to have a fresh pair as well. My other pair are in white estate at this point, but it's kind of nice to have like a pair for best. Also a couple of other bits that I took away with me that I didn't get to show you. One, this Zara top. 
I'm gonna do a little try on of this outfit because I had intended to wear this. It was just actually a bit too warm and humid to wear this, but I thought this would look so cool with my mango printed trousers or even just with my plain white trousers, like the linen ones. I thought this would look so cool, but I didn't get to wear that sadly. And then also this dress, which is from Abercrombie. I've actually had this altered. It has adjustable uh, little button straps that go over the shoulders, but it was still just a bit too long. And now it's just perfect, perfect length as a mini dress on me. And sadly, I didn't get to wear that one either. I just didn't have enough days in the south of France, but um, I'm really looking forward to wearing this one very, very soon. I actually think we might be booking to go to the south of France again. Um, I, I literally fell in love with it from the small amount that I have seen. I've been to Nice before, and really, really enjoyed it. So I would quite like to go again and just do like day trips to all of the surrounding areas. I think that would be so fun. I'm really excited about it. I'm in the middle of planning a very fun summer at the moment. I'm just, ugh. I've got a little bit of like a travel bug at the moment. We were also looking at going to like the south of Italy, a very, that's very vague because it's very big, but yeah, TBC. I'm very excited for this summer. Oh, I also didn't get to show you this dress, which just looks very long and a bit weird when you hold it up. But this dress I wore uh, the day, not the day before, the weekend before I flew to the South of France. I wore this to a wedding. I actually wore a Nadine Morabi dress and then changed into this in the evening. But I had to give this a little shout out because this was the most incredible dress like fitting dress on me i've ever worn it's going to be in my wardrobe forever now it was absolutely unreal i couldn't recommend it enough if you like wearing a navy blue um this dress is incredible it actually feels so like weighty and well made as well this was unreal and i have to give a shout out to it i would have worn it again in the south of france had there not been a dress code a little bit sad about that but if you see me wearing that on repeat to numerous like fancy events from now on just know it's because it's so comfy and like it's like the thigh split just hits at the perfect point i need to tidy this up now so yeah be right back uh i'll probably be with you after my nail appointment because it starts in five minutes so see you in a sec okay we are done with nails next stop i'm going to the gym i just need to like get a load of energy out it's so difficult when you spend loads of time sitting i just i just need to get up and move Need to get up and move. I need to go to B and Q after. Wild, I know. I'm having some work done on my bathroom tomorrow, and I need some things. Nothing fun, sadly. Just like maintenance stuff. But I need to pick up some bits. I think that is going to be where I leave you with this week's vlog, because otherwise it's going to be about a million years long, and we will never get it up. Like, I will just never have the time to edit and upload it. So I'm gonna love you and leave you. Oh, I didn't get to show you a photo of the nails. They're really cute. I will pop a picture here. It is a combo of Luna Biab mixed with June, both by The Gel Bottle. June's actually a really nice, like it looks quite dark, but it's like a little bit uh, sheer and it just makes for a really gorgeous, like peachy based nude. Um, so if you like a warmer tone, it's gorgeous. It really brings out um like a tan and yeah it just looks really really lovely but yeah a b c d e f g i have to go i will see you guys again very very soon love you bye